I love this show. I really love this show. Recovery of an MMO Junkie Episode 2 is here. And my oh my, this series just gives me a smile. Now I know that this is a series that not everybody is going to care about because we have a lot of anime very similar to this. I mean not the exact same but very similar because the concept of like an anime focusing around MMOs and stuff or any form of RPG it is something that we see almost every single anime season and so I know for a fact that when it comes to this series it's it's probably not going to be as popular as some other shows from this season, which makes a lot of sense, because there's a lot of good shows, and there's already a massive amount of stuff to watch. I know many might not care about this series whatsoever. However, me, I find this very enjoyable. I just, I love being able to sit back and watch it, because it just puts a smile on my face. And I'm sitting here watching, you know, a new episode of this show, I'm just smiling like, this is just so fun, it's enjoyable. Now... I want to be completely honest here, I don't know if I'm going to continue to review this series or not, however, it is a show I do want to continue to watch, because it's truly a fun show. From start to finish, I'm just smiling and really enjoying what I'm seeing. So anyways, getting into it, this episode of Recovery of an MMO Junkie, Episode 2, is something that really can make you just smile, because you can see some progression going on with our two main characters. Our main female character, and our main male character. Now, our main female character, obviously, we know she's a 30-year-old, she's a neat, and she doesn't have a job or anything, she calls herself an elite neat, and so she's a shut-in, she doesn't really do much, she just sits home and plays games constantly. In this case, you know, many might look at her as if she's disgusting, which is understandable because she doesn't have a job and she's just sitting there playing games day after day, day after day at the age of 30. Many are going to look at her and say, like, what's wrong with you? So in this case, we see in this episode that the term of learning about each other online pops up, which this is something very real, actually. If you play with someone long enough, like if you play an MMO or you play a shooter or any type of game, okay, like you play any form of video game, okay, and you play a first-person shooter, you play a third-person, you play an RPG, MMO, you play, you know, a strategy game, regardless, if you play a long time with a person, okay, months, like month after month after month and then eventually into years, you're going to eventually find out about the person you've been playing with. I mean, it's just a matter of time. That's just how we are as people, as human beings, eventually a topic is going to pop up and then people are going to start revealing information about themselves. That's just how it is. That's how online works. I mean, I have a couple of friends I've known for over a decade now actually on my Xbox and I know a lot about their life and how they, you know, handle their day-to-day -day basis and all that. So basically, when it comes to stuff like this, when you are friends with someone for a very long period of time, regardless if it's online or offline, you're eventually going to find out a lot of personal stuff about them. And in this case, I could actually really relate to this. And it was a really realistic conversation that popped up. You know, people questioning how old you are, what do you do for a living, or, you know, what you do in the middle of the day, or why are you always on. These type of questions always do pop up, and you cannot deny that. If you're a gamer that plays quite a bit, then most likely something like this that you saw in this episode has popped up in your conversation once before. And so I was like, yeah, I can really relate with this. I can definitely relate with some of the dialogue throughout this episode. And when, you know, they were questioning, like, finding out how old our main female character is, she eventually just says, oh, I'm 21 and all that. I'm a university student. That right there made me kind of chuckle, but also kind of have, like, a little bit of a sadness. Because I know for a fact when you're embarrassed about something, you tend to typically lie online about something. Like, oh, you know, this is good or whatever. And I'm like, oh, man. Like, like that just, it hits close to home when you're playing with your friends online and when you say something because you're embarrassed to admit something. I'm just like, this feels very real. So I really like the aspect of this series and how many of the characters are wondering how old she was and she still lies that she's, you know, a guy. For instance, she's saying she's a guy even though she's a girl, which makes a lot of sense online as well because when you're playing online, you know how people can be. They're very thirsty in a way and so her hiding her gender makes a lot of sense. And also her hiding that she's age 30, you know, playing MMOs without a job makes a lot of sense why she would hide something like that. So when, you know, they popped up a story and she's like, oh yeah, I'm only 21 or whatever, you know, she went with it and there you go. Now, I do like how after that was said and done, though, there was a bet behind the scenes, and I'm like, that's, that's so, that's so real. That is so real, because when you're playing with friends or whatever, and you know them for a while, and they're trying to figure out what's going on, typically, sometimes bets can happen. I know for a fact I've done that in the past, especially with some of my friends, so seeing that entire combo, and they're like, oh, you owe me one million gold, I'm like, okay, uh, I, relatable, just straight up hashtag 
relatable. That's what this entire scene is. Then we shift over into the real world aspect of the episode, which was truly amazing, actually, because I like to see that type of progression from this series, because I'm glad it's not just focusing on the MMO aspects of the series, it's actually showcasing what she does when she's not playing games as well. In this case, she stays up all night, she's playing games and all that, and obviously she doesn't have a job, so she doesn't really need to worry about having a proper sleep schedule or anything like that, and in this case, when she stays up late chatting with one of her friends, which we know is a dude, because of the last episode basically time just flies by they're having a lot of fun which that can happen as well when you're enjoying yourself and you're having fun playing games or whatever sometimes you can just lose track of time i know i have when i've read either a really good manga or i'm getting into an anime series and i'm like binge watching it or if i'm playing a video game i can easily lose track of time that happens all the time it's one of the big things that actually kind of throw off my schedule the most is just losing track of time because you're enjoying something so much and when you just lose the entire day and so seeing how they lost track of time and eventually ended up being five o'clock in the morning when they realized i'm like whoa like that's like something that probably has happened to all of us any of us that are you know gamers or watch anime or read manga most likely you've experienced something like this as well and when they start discussing like you need to go to work don't you got to go to work in a couple hours and all of a sudden he's like oh i i, I can't go to sleep i'll feel even worse if i go to sleep so i'm gonna need to stay up and so when you have it to where they try to force each other to to stay up I was just laughing because something like that has actually personally happened to me so as they're you know trying to keep up eventually it happens the dude is trying to get to work he's slightly kind of is late and all that he's trying to run to work while our main female character you know they are unaware of each other's real lives obviously well she's going to get some type of medicine because she's kind of sick she passed out on the keyboard so she needs to get some medicine while she's traveling basically these two managed to encounter each other in real life Real life, okay? So it was accidental they encountered each other and they bumped into each other and the dude, he actually elbows her in the face, knocks her out, and then she winds up in the hospital. Now the dude, obviously, he cares about her and he tries to make sure she's okay. He d goes through the medical checkups and all that. He doesn't just leave her hanging. You can see he's a very compassionate and considerate person. So it also shows that, you know, when she finally does realize the truth about this man, that's definitely going to be a very good couple. I ship those two so much. I, I can't wait to see those two eventually find out that they're both gamers and they like the same game and they also been playing together. I would love to see this reveal. I don't know if this series is willing to do something like that though because I've seen a lot of these type of series and typically when you have something like this like that's the series is focusing on it's one of the main concepts of like you know trying to hide your social life or whatever or being embarrassed of your social life. Usually this overall plot point doesn't get settled until like the final stretch of the series like when you're getting t towards the end of the series that's when it's finally revealed or something even crazier pops up as a plot point and basically there you go which in a way when I think about the name of the series a recovery of an MMO junkie maybe it won't take forever for her to find out about this dude because if she finds out about this dude that could be the start of her process of recovering and bettering herself as a person for she can be like a true girlfriend to him or or something I, I could definitely see that so maybe we could get this you know fine finally clarified or whatever maybe they could get together in this season i don't know but i'd like to see it so let me know your thoughts in the comments below how do you feel about episode two how do you feel about all the events that happened and as i said i don't know if i'm going to continue to talk about the series on a weekly basis it really depends if you guys really want to see these videos or not but it is truly an enjoyable series and i definitely want to continue watching it though and it just puts a smile on my face so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like on it and if you like my content please subscribe and if you want to support me for i can continue to focus on youtube go in the description and support me on patreon it helps me out a lot and another thing before i end this video apparently some have been complaining about you know not seeing notifications pop up when i upload a video so if you're one of those cheebits that have not been getting notifications and you're wondering why like no videos are popping up for you even though you see it like when you go to my channel then next to the subscribe button there's a bell icon if you click that every time i upload a video I'll automatically get notifications so just giving an fyi if you're completely unaware of that so anyways you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live please be safe chibi out